there's this weird phenomenon that we see a lot over on God Awful Movies where a character in a movie will start off as a Jesus-believing, God-fearing, grace-saying Christian, but then at some point in the movie, usually around the end of the second act, they become Christian, right? Like, they already were Christian, but then they become Christian anyway usually in a montage that includes equal parts going to church and spending more time with the kids. And of course, this is representative of that bizarre phenomenon known as being born again, which as near as I can tell is unique to Christianity. There, there's no other group one might belong to that has a recognized form of belonging to it again more. Not that I can think of anyway. Stamp collectors don't have that. Tennis players don't have that. Atheism doesn't have that. Right? Like if I came out here today and I told you that I'd recommitted to my atheism or that I had become more atheist, what, what the fuck would that even mean? Would it mean that I don't believe in more gods or that I don't believe in them harder? Right? Like, yo, I'm so atheist. No, I actively reject comic book gods like Darkseid and Primus. But, but, but Christians talk about this shit without batting an eye. I recommitted to the Lord. She was redeemed. He was born again. I mean, think about how fucking weird it is that Christian concerts end with altar calls. I mean, yeah, in a church, I guess that makes a little more sense because it's an invitation to join that specific church. But at a concert, it's just an invitation to join the religion in general. And who the fuck is going to a Christian concert that isn't already a Christian? Of course, like many of the more baffling questions about Christianity, the mystery around this one disappears as soon as you ask what the church itself gets out of it. Right. Parishioners don't demand that their thing makes logical sense. That's a prerequisite for their job. Right. They're, they're, they're like, OK, so you can tell me I could become a Christian even though I'm already a Christian. Well, it's certainly not weirder than telling me God is his own fucking son. So who am I to argue? And from the perspective of the church, terms like born again and revival basically offer them a chance to sell you a Christianity DLC. And it serves the same purpose, right? So for, for those of you who aren't into video games, I should explain that DLC stands for downloadable content, like an expansion pack, right? Like, like you've already finished the game and you're getting kind of bored with it, but what if we offered you a couple new levels, a dozen new side quests, and two more playable characters or whatever? Would, would that reinvigorate you? Would that be worth a little bit more money? And, and much in the same way that they're used in the video game industry, the church uses them to make more money selling you something that you already own. You know, the very term born again kind of gives away the game, right? Because it, it makes sense that you'd eventually get bored with Red Dead Redemption 2, but it doesn't make sense that you'd eventually get bored with Eternal <laughs> Salvation. If you would, it kind of would defeat the purpose of having it, wouldn't it? But no, the inevitable flagging enthusiasm for religion comes from the fact that you stopped believing it. The, 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 the belief is unsustainable. Even a trickle of skepticism is enough to erode it. Give it a few years and that trickle of doubt will carve the grand fucking canyon into your comforting certainty. And what do you do? Well, either you can grow the fuck up and stop believing in fairy tales or you can be born again. Born again, where you can revert to the comforting naivety of being a baby, return to a state of innocence born of ignorance. Of course, all this has to be papered over with some kind of theological hand-waving because to admit the purpose is to defeat the purpose in this instance, right? If you admit that your Christianity wore off, you have to admit that your new Christianity will probably also wear off. You'll have to admit that Christianity can wear off, which means you have to admit that Christianity doesn't fucking work, right? It's supposed to bring you comfort in times of need, but it can fade away in times of meh. What, what chance does it stand in times of real turmoil? But not only that, if you admitted that you needed a fresh coat of Christianity, you also have to admit that for some period of time you slipped into atheism, right? Or, or at least you slipped closer to atheism. And in so doing, you didn't find yourself cooking any more babies or strangling any more puppies than you were before. But most importantly, you'd have to admit how genuinely trivial your religion is. And Christianity can't handle that for even a fucking second. Listen to their rhetoric. You ask a Christian, they'll tell you that salvation is the most important thing in the world to them. They'll rank their love of God over the love of their own families. They'll tell you they would give their lives before they would deny the risen Christ. And yet, when it's put to the actual test of time, their religion can't even hold a person's enthusiasm as long as fucking stamp collecting. 